Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, I have a couple of cabernets in front of me. Which one do I do first? Do I do older or younger? Um, I could argue both ways. Maybe I, that's something I should be covering in my newsletter, because you all subscribe to my newsletter, don't you? Uh, if you don't, uh, I'll, I'll flash up somewhere where you can sign up for it. Uh, I think I'll do the younger one first, which is, um, uh, so it's, uh, they're both 100% Cabernets as far as I know. 2009 Cabernet Sauvignon Plaisir de Merle from Paul in South Africa. Let's give this one a whirl. Uh, quite South African uh, aromas here. Um, not in that burnt, baked uh, edge, but there is this slightly tomato-y, um, rich volatility does that make sense um, what I what I like about it is um, the fruit flavors seem to be slightly underplayed it's five and a half years old uh, so the, the fruit is, is maturing gently uh, with those fruit flavors it's a, there's a bit of the plum there a bit of the berry um, and uh, quite ripe black currant going into the maybe just a little bit too ripe um, uh, but uh, there's an earthiness about it it, it, it feels like um, uh, dampness, dankness is, the, is is slightly is not very fair on it, uh, but there is this character which I get in quite a lot of South African wines. Rich, sweet, chocolatey. Um, I like the flavours, but um, uh, there's a couple of things I notice a little bit of the burn of alcohol, and I also notice you know I was talking about that ripe black currant character. Uh, it's almost as if some of the um, those um, the, the the grapes have got that a little bit too ripe and had started to shrivel up a bit. So you're getting uh, a little bit of um, dried what the Australians called uh, yeah dead fruit flavors, dead grape flavors. Um, it's it's nice, and uh, I think that if I had a, a rather large steak, I would uh, drink rather a lot of it. Uh, and maybe I'll give it another swig and see where I get to. Pretty good wine. Um, second one. Wins Kunawara um, Cabernet Sauvignon, 53rd Vintage 2008. So um, uh, if, they, if they don't know what they're doing after 53 vintages, uh, then there's something wrong with them. They do have a, an upmarket one, which is called John Riddock, but um, uh, this, their basic one, has been a pretty, pretty decent and uh, reliable performer for probably all those 53 years. Anyway, let's give it a whirl. And... I mean, just tasting these two side by side, it's, uh, they're, they're, one of them is very South African and one of them is very Australian. Uh, here there's this lovely, sweet, juicy, rich, uh, very ripe, um, uh, cassis, berry, um, and uh, there's something of the, uh, the mint eucalyptus character, which is common to a lot of Australian wine areas. Um, and in uh, small proportions, it adds character. In large proportions, sometimes it can take over a few wines. Um, there, there was one wine that was made in, uh, in I think it was in Kunawara, uh, a long, long time ago, that became known as Peppermint Patty. Was it Mildara who did it? I can't remember. Uh, but, um, uh, but here, it's there in the background rather than to the fore. Other thing I'd say about it, uh, this is 2008. It's a year older than the Plaisir de Merle, but uh, feels like an extra freshness of fruit about it. I'd have, if blind, I'd have said that this was a younger wine. A bit of a sheen from the oak, um, adding this polished vanilla character. Don't know whether it's French or American, whether it, does it says on here? No. I, it's got on the back. Pristine flavours of blackcurrant and classic mint. Uh, but... Um, it's more this um, fresh earthiness, and uh, it's a different type of um, uh, earthiness that uh, I was talking about in the, the in the Plaisé de Merle. There, there was that slight dank cellars. Uh, here, uh, there is a uh, freshly dug earth character, and uh, whack of tannin. I mean, there's uh, lots of fruit, but lots of tannin. Um, it feels like this is a wine. Yeah, it tastes tastes younger than the the Plaisé de Merle. Uh, and I would put uh, money on it for the long term to uh, still be going strong in 10, 15, maybe even longer. It, it, just, it, it just feels like a wine that's been really nicely put together. And um, uh, yes, my favourite of the two by quite a margin, I'd say. See you soon.